There was a post either late last week or early this week. They said that their boots broke in a lot more than they expected them to. So they would break in and then like continue to break in and then they just got too big. And I think that that is because of the difference between a machine lasted process of how they put the boot together and a hand lasted process, an actual person putting the boot together. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. And I got some video and some pictures to show you guys and explaining why hand last is, is better, but also why machine lasting has its place as well. So let's get into it. Old boots got soul and I carry on this way and we get better. When I'm talking about lasting, I'm talking about the process by which somebody stretches the boot around a last, which is a basically a, a, a piece of like composite plastic, wood, um, hard leather, and they basically build the boot around that. So that is necessary so that the boot has the shape of a foot. So I'm gonna show you what machine lasting is like. Here is some footage of machine lasting in the Los Altos factory when I went down there with Jose from Yeehaw Cowboy, okay? So you have the boot and they stick it into this machine, as you can see, which grabs the side of the leather on the bottom and stretches it over to then nail it to the last underneath. Okay, so you can see how it's stretching. He's making sure there's no wrinkles in there. See how he makes sure there's no wrinkles. It's stretching it down and then nailing it to the bottom of the boot. This machine here stretches every piece of leather exactly the same. As you can see, it's a very fast process and then it's ready to go on to be sold. The only problem with this process is that leather is different. Each piece of leather has its own stretch capacity. It will break it. It's just like people. There is no one person who is exactly the same and there is no one piece of leather exactly the same. So it needs to be stretched in its own way. Even though the machine lasting process makes boots cheaper, when they're made like that, oftentimes they will continue stretching because they haven't been stretched to their full amount when they were built. Does that make sense? So oftentimes a boot will break in and then continue stretching and then become floppy and just kind of gross looking and not fit as well as it could. Now I'm gonna show you what hand lasting looks like. Here's what hand la lasting looks like. This is also from the Los Altos factory. They use both hand lasting process and the machine lasting. And as you can see, he's stretching the leather and then nailing it to the bottom of the boot. He has to stretch the leather to its fullest capacity, right? That's the value of this. But it just takes so much longer. So the boots are going to be more expensive. So it's a, it's sort of a, you gotta weigh what you're looking for. If your budget doesn't really call for um, that hand lasted process, then the machine lasted will probably be fine, but just know that there is the possibility that it will break in too much and become floppy and then not fit as well as what a hand lasted boot could potentially fit like. So it's not just a Chinese thing, it's not just a Mexican thing, but it's also used here in America. So here is a picture that I grabbed from the Double H Instagram. So Double H is a US company, and as you can see, they are also using the machine lasted process. And that makes sense, right? I mean, things made in the USA are gonna be a little bit more expensive. 
just because it's more expensive to make things here. Like the economy, we pay our people more, right? It's just the way the US is. So machine lasted isn't necessarily a bad thing, like I said. It's just a matter of like what's your budget and are you looking for a boot to break in and potentially be the best fitting boot possible? Then I would say you might want to go hand lasted. But how do you know if a boot is hand lasted? Well, you can look on their Instagram. Like oftentimes like Double H, they'll share their process. They'll share how they make boots. And you can see that that was the machine lasted process, not as good as the hand lasted process, right? But it is cheaper. So I've found that boots sort of around the 200 to $250 range, that right, that like line, boots under that might be machine lasted. It's possible, it's probable that they're machine lasted. Cause I mean, you gotta pay somebody to sit there for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes and hand last the boot when it takes a, the, the machine a couple of seconds, right? So you're saving thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars a year for a big company to produce boots like that or a bit or a factory, just a factory, because one factory could make boots for uh, 13 different companies as there are several factories in Mexico that do that. So, I mean, if you could just imagine just putting some boots in a machine, lasting, done. But the leather, the, the break-in capability is not gonna be as good as the hand-lasted process. So usually boots over 200 to $250, mostly over $250, are gonna be hand-lasted for the most part. But if you really wanna make sure, I would say try to call the company, try to contact them, email them, tweet them, DM them, say, hey, you got the hand-lasted process or your machine lasting your boots? they don't want to answer you um, and they're kind of like man they're kind of like sketchy about it they're probably machine lasted the machine lasted process just isn't as good as the hand lasted you know you know what do you guys think about this time is money Carol says Dawson likes the boots made by hand Joseph all of his boots are machine lasted have you ever have you ever had that pros problem where they stretch too much haven't had too much of a issue with overstretching. That's great. That's great. It doesn't happen all the time. There's just more of a possibility for it to happen. I think hand lasted boots are better because I mean, there's more handmade process. They're treating the leather the way that it should be treated, but machine lasting process makes boots more affordable and more people are able to have boots because of the machine lasting process in factories. So it's, it's always a give and take. It's always what's your budget, what you're looking for. Hand lasting is always gonna be better. Machine lasting is always gonna be cheaper. That's the way it is. Machine last, build it cheap and fast. Hand last gives the leather a better chance to break in even and fit the best. Yeah. Hand last. But machine last is the cheapest It's all in what you're looking for The more you know